Hi everyone, GD here. Glad you could all join me today. Well, you know, I had so much to talk about here today. It could have turned into an all-day video, but I'm going to try and keep it a little on the shorter side, and I'm going to give you a few things here for you folks to go over and check out yourself, because um, I know from my um, YouTube analytics, many of my videos get ne never watched all the way through, so I don't want any of the key important points here to get lost and you not be able to have all the information. So I will put some links down below uh, for you folks to go follow up on. But before I get started, I want to ask you all a favor. Please do give the video a like. And as I said in my last couple of videos, I believe, um, any of the channels that you watch for silver or gold, um, you should give them a like. You should um, leave a comment on videos. Please leave a comment on this video. It helps the algorithms. It helps get those videos out. When YouTube sees that there's a lot of people that like a video and leave comments on it, they spread that out there for others to see. And I think it's important that we get as many people involved as possible. Okay, with that said, let's move on to some of the things I wanted to discuss today. And as I said, I had many subjects I could have discussed, but I'm going to touch on just a few. Let's start off with um, the silver price. Yesterday, especially some of you that are new to um, stacking silver, may have been a little fearful with the big drop that we had uh, this past week or so. And um, things have not changed, folks. The key is, is that there is a game being played out there by the people that um, control the paper market. You shouldn't let that fear bother you. You should wind up learning the rules of their game and using it against them. And I am going to point you to an article that's going to help you with that in just a few minutes. But first, let's go over the price of silver. It currently has bounced back above 24. It's 24.04, 24.05 right now. Now, if you notice here on the chart, if we go back here to December, we will see that um, it hit a number of times down here in the 2350 to 2375 range. And that is where we have been hitting the past two days now. We hit a low of 2378 today, a high of 2419. We opened at 2398. So we have bounced off of these support levels here. Now, can it possibly go down lower? Sure, this could take another trip downwards, but because it's back above 24, um, there is a good possibility that this has shown its bottom at least temporarily. So when I say you need to learn to play the game of what they're doing, the key is, is let these paper players play their game. The key is, is when you start seeing some of these bottoms like this, that's when you get back in. But let them drop the price down to where they want it to go to and then start piling back in again. But let me see if I can go over here and touch on a few other articles here with you folks. First of all, Here's an article here that I came across, uh, which is from trainingmag.com. And again, I will put a link down below. And I think this is a very important article for you to all read. Um, you know, if you go through this article, you will see that the Democrats last year used a lot of these strategies to get people to vote for them. But um, just to touch on a few things here, um, let's just see here. Chinese philosopher Sun, uh, Sun Tzu outlined several leadership strategies to win a war. Similar, similarly, ancient Indian philosopher Chanakka, I don't know how that is really pronounced, but shared several leadership strategies to defeat enemies. He once remarked, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. 
The leadership strategies shared by them are immortal as they can be applied everywhere, including military, business, politics, depending on the situation of the leadership style. But there was one other key point here I wanted to mention um, before I move on to the next thing. And I am going to keep this short because I want you folks to watch the entire video instead of me going over a whole bunch of stuff today. Um, but keep this in mind. This one line here is probably the most important line that I can point out to you. And this is what was used last year during the elections. This is what uh, these paper players in silver are doing to try and defeat you. And that is to defeat your enemy, you must first bring his morale down. Okay, so when they crash the price of silver like they have recently, it is a way for them to try and bring your morale down and try and get you to stop buying or to sell what you have. Things have not changed, folks. The point is, is that we right now are in a time when silver is extremely important to industry. The world cannot run without it. And over the past year or so, more silver is being taken out of the market than what's being produced. So when you see these price crashes like this, it is not reality. It has nothing to do with the demand that is being pent up for the price of for, for actual physical metal. It's needed in our world today. It's not going to go away. It keeps on expanding the uses that uh, they find for silver. So uh, the point being, when these prices crash like this, that's the time to start adding more. Uh, don't let your morale get broken down by these people that are trying to control your thinking. But there's one other thing here I want to share with you, and uh, let's see if I can find that here. Um, I am not going to play this video here because I don't know what the copyright rules are on this. But uh, this is, and if you're not subscribed to uh, Danielle's channel, um, I kind of miss her. She was a Kitco, um, Kitco newscaster for the longest time, and now she is with Stansbury Research. And again, I will put a link down below for this particular video here. This came out a couple days ago, March 26, 2021. And she is interviewing uh, Willem Min Middlecop. And this is a video that is well worth watching about what's going on with the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund and how they've created additional money. And I think this is a preview for um, trying to take away the dollar as the leadership uh, currency in the world. But this is a 14 minute and 40 second, um, 46 second video that's important you watch the whole thing because near the end of the video, He's going to discuss the importance of silver. So I think these are all important keys. I could have gone over so much more here today, but again, I know that my videos don't get watched to the end. So I am just going to point you folks in a direction here of some information that will be helpful for, to you. And I think um, you can wind up going in there at your own leisure and doing them. But um, one of the other things here, I don't know if I touched on this already here or not. It's early in the morning. So here is an article here on uh, Wall Street Silver that I wanted to discuss with you folks. And this one here, I will read the whole thing because it's fairly short. This is on Wall Street Silver. And um, I've mentioned this uh, to you folks before. It's over on Reddit. 
Uh, if you haven't signed up for this, I really encourage you to do so. There are now all the way up to 49,000 um, members to this, and it is growing rapidly. Uh, but this is an article that was posted or a post that was put up yesterday, and I didn't have a chance to go in here and read things yesterday. So apparently, with the price of silver dropping yesterday, there was a lot of infighting on here. And this is exactly... Um, as I had mentioned in the article that I'm going to post a link for you folks to read on the art of war, this is exactly what they want to have happen. They want you to have infighting so that you lose confidence in what's going on. But this post here by uh, Laco0667 yesterday, I mean, really hits a nerve. So let me just read this real quick and I will end this video. And um, he puts uh, his title as Stop, They're Sitting Back and Laughing at Us. Stop with the infighting. I usually come onto Reddit to look at this page for uplifting info, pics, videos, etc. Hell, it's the only reason I started a Reddit account. I log on this AM and it's bashing each other left and right. We've, we've got mints stopping production, mints on the verge if not already defaulting, a bigger group of people than ever before, billboards going up, etc., all driving people to use this subreddit. And when newbies log on, they see all this nonsense. The price of silver gets smashed, like we knew the banks would do. And the banks do it to drive down sentiment and look at us bickering back and forth. This is what the banks want us to do. So again, keep in mind that article. What they want to do is have you lose your confidence in what you're doing so that you stop taking silver off the market, folks. So stop. Banks said a silver squeeze would never work because there was no way to get a big enough group of people on the same page to make it happen. We're on the verge of making it happen, and we're infighting. Coincidence? Don't let them win. Stay focused. Buy physical. Buy PSLV. This is how it started. This is how we'll win. Now, I did leave a comment um, on this video, and I'll see if it's still here for me to share with you folks, because, um, and I don't know if it will show up, because there's a lot of them here. Um, if I don't find it quickly here, I will just tell you to go in and look at it yourself, because there are a lot of comments here. Um, so I guess I got buried here because there's so many. But in any case, folks, um, as I said, I had a lot of things to discuss. I'll probably have to break those up over the next few videos. But I thought these were important points to, um, to touch on here. And that is, is, first of all, when you see these big crashes in the price of silver, it is the paper players trying to get you to lose your confidence in it. And things have not changed, as I mentioned. Silver is still important. It will always be important. Silver has, you've got to get it out of your mind that it's just a way of protecting wealth. Um, silver in industry is key to this world today. And that is not going to change except for becoming more in need. So, I don't know how long it's going to take for this to break out and go up. I don't know if the price of silver is going to go down more. But the point is, is over the long haul, if you have a long haul mentality here, you have to keep in mind how important physical silver is to the world. And if you are controlling that silver, then you are controlling what the future will be. And eventually those paper players will break. Okay, folks, I've said my piece here today. I hope this information is helpful to you. If it is, please let me know down below. If you're not finding this information helpful, well, I will look for other things to try and help you with. But again, I will put links down below. 
please do follow up on them. I think they're important things for you folks to read. Um, and I think it'll be very helpful to you. But in the meantime, don't lose your confidence. Don't let them win at that. The key is, is to buy when you see that we hit support levels and we've bounced off of them. That's the place to be buying. I do not buy all the time. I buy at key levels. Yes, there are times I buy things a little bit too high and that's going to happen. But over time, it'll average out. And um, the same thing will happen for all of you if you buy sensibly. Okay, folks. I hope all is going well for you. I look forward to seeing your comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. You know that. Um, and all I can say is, is till next time, stay safe, keep stacking, and be happy. Hope you're all having a great day. This is GD saying goodbye.